All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be discussing artificial intelligence and the, I guess, crossroads that it kind of is at with content creation and realistically art in general. It's a very heated subject of debate because a lot of artists obviously view AI as like an inherent threat, right? Because, I mean, you see the development in the AI world and there's just so many new leaps and bounds made pretty much every day with the technology and even now, you can genuinely make some pretty cool art pieces if you're actually skilled with AI. Now, there's a massive difference between some 16-year-old using chat GPT to generate something in five seconds and somebody, I feel like, spending hours commanding prompts to get an outcome or a desired function out of an AI. But obviously, uh, as AI has kind of grown and started developing, right, we've seen YouTubers, content creators, musicians, everything, everyone who makes really any kind of art across any media, start implementing AI into their process and even here on my YouTube channel you have seen some examples of artificial intelligence helping make content so to be completely transparent with you there are two ways that I currently use artificial intelligence on my channel one of them I don't do as much right now but I mean it could really be done anytime and that's been like with the AI presidents videos right I used voice synthesizers and whatnot to create like presidential voices and like I've made content out of those things. Once again, I feel like there's a pretty big difference between piecing all of that together to create one coherent project and then just like trying to be completely reliant on AI to do everything. But a lot of people don't realize this, but YouTube and AI have gotten to the point where there are entire YouTube channels that are profitable, that are being completely managed by AI. YouTube shorts channels, long form content channels, it doesn't matter. There are people out there right now running dozens of YouTube channels with no face, no voice. A lot of the times they're not even putting in work on the software, they're just using AI. Now the other way that I've used artificial intelligence on my channel is for YouTube Shorts. So basically there's websites where you can like put a link of your video in and it'll clip YouTube Shorts that are the best moments out of those videos that it determines I guess and it allows you to take them and upload those to your YouTube channel. However, uh, there's a new AI situation kind of unfolding on YouTube and it's created a little bit of controversy and I definitely understand why, right? Because this is involving a content creator who has been massive on the platform for years at this point, right? And this is all surrounding Quebble Cop, right? So I know a lot of you probably know who that is. If you don't, he's been massive in the YouTube gaming scene for probably the better part of a decade at this point. Millions upon millions upon millions of subscribers, right? And uh, Quebble Cop has essentially completely replaced himself in his own content with an AI model. And now, I mean, his videos are just essentially completely AI driven, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and play a short clip here real quick for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. We need to keep breaking this block. Now, come on, I need some wood to make myself a crafting table because I already got some lava blocks. Then maybe we can craft some lava armor. That would be insane. Okay, so we have stripped spruce wood. There we go. Now let's make a crafting table. There we go. Smack that bad boy down right over there. I'll just keep mining this for a bit. All right, so as you can see, this is pretty clearly not a person, right? Like, I don't even think the voiceover is being done by an actual person. I think, once again, he's using a voice synthesizer. And then there's, like, some sort of AI 3D animation or something that just shows his face instead of him filming his face cam or anything, right? So, essentially, all of the personal part of the content has been completely replaced by a fucking robot. Now, I've been making YouTube videos for, well, 11 11 years. I have made thousands of YouTube videos in my life, and it's been a pretty massive part of my life, if we're being honest. I mean, there's really probably been nothing that's impacted my life quite like YouTube, and I'm not gonna lie, watching this as someone who isn't like on the AI hate train, it uh it's not that it rubs me the wrong way, it more or less creeps me out. So I, once again, I don't hate artificial intelligence. I know that's kind of like the cool thing, right? Like a lot of people don't like AI and there's a lot of very good reasons to criticize the use of AI because a lot of people, they use it very lazily and that basically allows for like the AI itself to copy other people's work without people noticing. You know, sometimes it'll plagiarize or whatever and people don't notice because they don't put any fucking effort in to actually using the AI as a tool 
goal and not a means to an end. And I think that's kind of a mistake that's being made here with this kind of content, right? So let me explain something about YouTube, right? And this isn't like Quebble Cop doesn't know this, but we'll talk about this here in a little bit. This is just for the people who don't really make YouTube content, so maybe you don't really see it from this perspective. But I mean, I'm a professional at this, quite literally. So the point for a lot of people, especially with YouTube content, is they want to see that personal side, right? They want to have not that personal connection because that's a little fucking like parasocial if we're being honest, but they want to see the humanity in your content, right? That's why YouTube blew up in the first place. It wasn't some fucking corporatized land where businesses ruled all. It was a place where individuals could go and broadcast the best of themselves or the worst of themselves, right? And YouTube content, it has this like very weird dynamic between the creator and the audience, right? Because I mean, even like for me, for instance, like 99.9999999% of you have never seen my face, have never met me in real life, but so many of you feel like you know me because of my content, because of the opinions that I've shared, because of the details about me that I've shared. There's that personal thing there, right? And I think when creators lose that, or they, in this instance, intentionally get rid of that, it kind of ruins their fucking content. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, let's be real, like for Quebble Cop here, a lot of his target audience here is going to be children, right? Their standards, I guess, for quality are way different than an adult, right? Because like for me, I'm a grown man, mid twenties. I'm not sitting here and watching some fucking AI robot play Minecraft. I'm not doing that, right? I'm gonna go, if I wanna watch something like this, I'm gonna go watch someone really do it. Because to me, this content has no personal theme to it. It's just generically made content with no personal thought put into it whatsoever, no effort whatsoever. It's just computer generated content. And the comments have highlighted this a lot for Quebble Cop. People are pretty pissed off. And I don't think Quebble Cop cares because in all reality, I mean, he's got 15 million subscribers. He's already made countless millions of dollars probably from YouTube in the first place. He really doesn't have to care anymore, you know what I mean? He doesn't have to give a shit anymore. It's already so established and already so far along the path. Nothing can really happen that's going to destroy Quebble Cop. But this is going to be something that you see more of on YouTube and I think that that is a worrisome development because the more that people decide to stop actually displaying themselves and their own thoughts and ideas and creativity in their content, the worse YouTube is going to be in general. I mean, imagine if all of your favorite YouTubers were fucking AI robots, right? Imagine, for instance, you came to an Optimus video and you heard this. Hey everyone, I'm totally real and not an AI program. Believe me, please. I mean, that just sounds fucking creepy, right? That just sounds uncanny. It really doesn't even sound like me. You know, it doesn't sound like an Optimus video. And as a content creator myself, right? Like, I just can't imagine myself ever wanting to go completely down this route. Now, don't get me wrong. Have I thought like, yeah, man, if I really wanted to, I could go get one of these AI voices to talk for me forever. And I could just generate free money by not doing any voiceovers. But then also, like, for me at least, YouTube is not fully a business. Like, don't get me wrong. I do make a good portion of my living from my YouTube channel. You know, I've ran this brand for years. I am very passionate about running it as a business as well. But this is my channel. You know what I mean? This ultimately is the penultimate expression of who I am as a person. These are the things that I think on a daily basis. The gameplays, these are games that I like, you know? These are topics that I'm passionate about or that I find interesting to talk about. And the whole fun of me doing YouTube, the whole fun of me having this dream job is the fact that I'm the one who gets to do it. Every day when I wake up, I get to be the one who talks to you guys about these topics or whatever it is, right? To have an AI do it for me and like a robot Robot take over my content for me there would be no more creative expression there would be no more like me in the content it would just be fucking robotic ai generated and for me that's not a compromise that i'm willing to make and i also don't think that it's a compromise that all creators should make now for quibble cop right you know he's just making fucking gaming videos or whatever so it's probably a little easier to get away with something like this but the unfortunate reality is this is going to be something that becomes a lot more commonplace and i mean there's a good chance that a lot of your favorite creators go down this road too because truthfully at some point it's going to become so easy to just let the computer do it all for you and it's going to be for a lot of people just not worth the time 
time incentive to go make their own content. I mean, if you can run a YouTube brand making thousands of dollars a month with a computer, why would you want to do it yourself, right? And I think with this kind of AI divide, you're really going to start to see who does YouTube and makes content for the sake of making content and enjoying it and people who do it for the sake of making profit over everything else. I mean, like for me, man, like I said, I've been doing YouTube here on this channel for 11 fucking years. I mean, this channel is a natural extension of my life at this point, you know? I've chronicled so much of myself on this channel and I've built a pretty awesome community doing so, you know? I don't want to throw that away or give that up for the easiness of just letting AI handle it. And I'm not trying to shit on creators who do ultimately make that decision. I feel like YouTube has evolved to a point where people can do it for the sake of creativity or they can do it for the sake of profit, and there's not really anything wrong with either, but it's just gonna be sad to see so many creators who really developed their own personalities and built connections with their audience and like, you know, in jokes and whatnot, just for that all to go to the wayside when these fucking AI personas take over. And so a lot of people are seeing shit like this and they're getting mad, right? And I understand why, right? Like if you've been watching a content creator, like I, I could picture, if you've been watching me for like six fucking years now, and then one day I just never actually came back and it was just a fucking, hey guys, Optimus here. And today we're gonna be talking about, you know, like a fucking robot, people would probably be pretty mad and rightfully so. Like, hey dude, we've been fucking watching your videos all this time just for you to throw an AI robot up and not try anymore. I don't know, it just, it, it's not something that I would ever consider. It's not something that, like, I would want to do. Not because I'm better than everybody else, but because for me, it would ruin the fun of having this YouTube channel. And like I said, yeah, it's my business, it's my livelihood, but I still want my job to be fun. I still want to, you know, go through the trials, I guess, of being a creator. I still want to have those days where I struggle and have creators block. I still want to have those days where maybe I'm overly passionate about a stupid topic, right? Because realistically, those are the days to live for, man, like as a YouTube creator, right? It's not the days where you get a fucking revolutionary new robot to do your job for you. It's the day when you drop a video that maybe you didn't think was going to do so well, and then it turns out to be a really well-performing video that everybody liked, you know? Those are the days that, as a YouTube creator, I enjoy the most. And sure, I could make fucking $40,000 a day doing it, or I could make two dollars a day doing it and it wouldn't change the fact that that's ultimately what i've really enjoyed doing with a good portion of my life is making these videos personally for you guys giving you guys my personal input and my personal insight on the world around us and people either agreeing or disagreeing with me right and i just don't feel like that's as possible with a robot it probably really depends on the type of content that you make in the first place but i just i think that this is a dangerous road for creatives in general to go down is this like easy performance road where it's just oh th this thing will give me results really fast and easy because that isn't the you know way that creating things is supposed to go not everything you make is supposed to be so something that you can just churn right out. You're supposed to go through these struggles as a creator. That's part of doing the fucking job, you know what I mean? And I just, I hate to see people fall in that trap where they, you know, are willing to sacrifice what it is that they're doing for the easy road. And I think that that's exactly what AI enables too many people to do. Don't get me wrong, I like AI. I think there's a lot of great AI tools out there. But keep in mind, the difference between me and a lot of other people when it comes to AI is, like I said, AI tools. They are functions and processes and pieces of code that you can use to achieve an end result. However, they are not the replacement for the entire cycle and they will not produce everything for you. You still have to know what you're doing. You still have to have knowledge. You still have to have expertise. Not even just with the AI itself, but in whatever it is that you're trying to get an end result for. And I think with the problem that AI has kind of like brought up and a lot of people dislike it because of this, is it's people taking the fucking easy road on everything. And they're not using AI AI tools as a mean to accomplish something, they're using it as a mean to do whatever task it is that they want done in the fastest, you know, quickest thinking way possible. And for a platform in a medium like YouTube, where that's just not really going to be something that works out, I don't see it being a move or a change that people are going to absolutely love. So I don't know. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about the whole thing down below. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubTheOptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. 
Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about Quebble Cop's new AI and signing out.